Hey, how you doing, friends? This is Farid Permani with Ignite the Spark, and as we promised, uh, uh, you can see that we started bringing in the new occupations, and right now we'll focus more towards the entrepreneurship. So today, what we are trying to coach you is something you would have heard of, but you might not know that this is such a big opportunity. You know, कहते हैं चिराग तले अंधेरा. So this is a crop which is actually a very strong crop from the herbicide benefits. and it's used in the cure of these days slightly alzheimer cure for the arthritis uh, cure for the digestional issues inflammatory issues and it's actually been used by pharmaceuticals for cure of hormonal imbalance especially at the birth and uh, it's a flavored crop which is actually used a lot by india india is the largest consumer of it but the anomaly is india cannot produce it because india is very much already into agriculture but naturally only in the northern side of india can produce it but iran then afghanistan are the two higher producers of it and european and chinese markets are now getting into it yes the name of the crop is asophelia it's called hing in the local desi language right so let's look at the numbers and then we'll share with you the details because we have actually had sessions with agriculturist and i actually hired somebody when i visited afghanistan so see this is a normally the person who grew in afghanistan is kind of one of the richest man but 90% of even afghanis don't know what is he growing you know so this is called knowledge is power right now i'll tell you where you can grow what kind of soil climate things you need what kind of investment you need and what kind of returns is it so hold it to the end of the video we'll try to make it in 5 to 8 minutes so this is a 1100 million dollar market how much 1100 million dollar market and it's growing at the rate of 9% to be exact 8.3% every year because demand is getting high you need to always see whatever you are trying to do you're getting into the next level right so this is important what you need is a colder version of the climate something around the range of 20 to 25 degree centigrade is an excellent so you would have to see i'll also tell you the regions uh, appropriate for it but if i miss any region you can check the uh, weather calculations there on the fahrenheit scale is 68 to 77 degree fahrenheit so you can see something like a cold desert is a good uh, proposition for it the sand requirements or the soil requirement needs to be well drained soil so if a soil is clogging means it clogs the water it can put moisture on the roots and this asphodelia will not grow so that's the same problem in india because the tropical regions of india 80% are humid and they need the dry loamy soil where water does not stand water can pass through so that's number 2 requirement for it number 3 requirement which most of the agriculturist actually don't look into and see i i'm a phd dropout in biotechnology but i never practiced it but last sustainability when i got to know about it i started exploring and i learned it from scratch you know so you don't need to be you can be an it professional turned into a agriculture farmer because in singapore the biggest sustainer company which is now a 900 million dollar company is started by a 36 year old banker who moved from fit, fintech into vertical farming so this is where people are moving towards so don't trap yourself don't stop yourself that hey i am an arts background commerce background agriculture or biotechnology something new for me be always there and where is the need of the time right and you just see the return on investments okay let's continue forward so these were the soil compositions okay now how much time does it take to grow it takes about 3 years from the seed to the sprout and after third year the fourth year is where the return on investment starts to come okay so and you actually have to hold yourself for 4 years any good crops any good which you call saffron which is the gold of the herbs uh olive oils which is we are trying to do a project on palm oils and olive oil they always take four years so any bigger crop which has high return on investment needs patience you know it's not overnight there is no ai in plant biotechnology okay the second thing is uh, so you need a well drained soil 15 to 25 degree centigrade cooler temperature well drained soil with an soil water ph of 7 to 8.5 yes you need an alkaline water to be sprayed you don't need the acidic water it's against the hing farming or asphodelia farming okay now <clears throat> who is the 
consumer. India is the largest consumer due to herbs. They use these herbs a lot in every food. Second largest is Middle East and now European medicinal companies have started buying it. Okay, let's come to the money, money, money number matter. In an acre, there are about 44,000 square feet, right? And you can put 2,500 plants. So it needs to be two feet on the bottom, right, left, top, right. So in two, two feet, you can put one plant. So that way you can make your rows and bottoms 2,500 plants. Do the calculation. 2,500 plants and after third year, the fourth year, each plant produces 300 grams of astrophilia. It can go up to one pound, but let's take the minimum. So 2,500 times 300 grams is about 750 kilogram, 750000 gram. Mm -hmm. Considering the wholesale price, and I'm doing the lowest, not the highest, $100 is the selling price in wholesale market in India. 750 kilogram into 100 is $75,000 per acre. But you get it after four years, right? And then it's recurring, it's recurring, it's recurring. It's like gold you have plotted in the land and then keeps on giving the results. Just consider $75,000 an acre means if I try to convert that into Pakistani rupee, what are we talking about? We're talking about 20 million Pakistani rupee. Do crore rupee ki baat kar rahe hum per acre. Okay. And what are the ideal locations to grow? I've done some research on the weather and the agriculture side of it. I've, I've been using very highly paid consultants to carry on this project. So in Pakistan, three areas, Koita, Ziyarat, Kalat. Okay, on that side of the belt of Balochistan, Sawat and Chitral, not Gilgit Hunza, but Chitral, because you need to have three things match the soil, the ideal water, the drainage system of the soil and the temperature. It's not only temperature. The problem is people only see temperature and then they fail waiting for three, four years because you have to do all the ticks to be done. Okay, in Central Asia, Pamir and Gorno Badakshan are the strong areas. Okay. And I'm also referring back my notes, Pamir and Gordon Badakshan. So it's a very strong area. I have not seen hing farming in Central Asia. Tajikistan guys, uh, all the students, it's an excellent proposition for you. Okay. Afghanis, you don't even know about it. Some people, 2% are making money and rest of you don't even know what they are growing. You know, and I was there. We opened 10 branches back to back. Out of so many people talking, 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 I only found one person who even know the name of hing or astrophilia. And the guy who I hired uh, does not even was willing to tell me until I told him that I know what you're growing because I have that app which you take the photo of the plant and it tells you what it is, you know. So knowledge is important and what we are sharing is not the free knowledge. So after that, still, if you are lacking the ideas, then it's your problem. Then it's not the nature or universe helping you. And then Middle East is the second largest buyer. So consider now the investment so let's say land is there whatever either you buy the land or you rent the land okay you have to at least have four years of land so let's say you on an average you rent a land for thousand dollar an acre okay maximum i'm telling you for four years you are renting for four thousand dollars if you buy the land per acre it would be somewhere around five thousand six thousand so let's say you arrange five thousand dollars an acre ideal land you can get it very cheap Trust me, in Balochistan, uh, there are some challenges there, but it's not undoable. It's doable. I myself visited there, you know, uh, neck to neck. So no such problem. Now, the thing is, you can go to Afghanistan. You can go to Iran. There are people, there are land. You have to do the hard work. But let's say $5,000 maximum for four years hold. The seed is the second investment that you need to do. $300 per acre, right? You need to have 3 kg seeds for astrophilia. You can import it from India, Afghanistan, Iran, Amazon, anywhere. Put it $4,000 for the rent, $3,300 for the seeds, $4,300 and the labor cost. Let's say you pay to $300 or you are a labor yourself. Let's say $4,500 you invested in four years. And what's the return on investment? $75,000 after four years and every year. Now do the math. 
$75,000 is outcome, $4,500 investment. What is ROI? Okay, let's see. Your ROI is fifteen hundred and sixty seven percent. Pandra so percent return on investment con data, Bitcoin data, carbon credits data. This is what this sustainability business gives you. So I hope you like the video and keep on sharing and join the link of the asm so you are part of the free subscription because a lot of things we also send sometimes detailed plan on the email so sign up the link below and if you're not part of the facebook group we have alhamdulillah 1.1 million followers now you can join that group and this kind of mentorships will keep on coming thank you stay blessed <laughs>